Shots to the groin, LeBron and KD jawing at each other. Ty Lue was asked about the chippiness, and take a listen to what he said. Me personally, I liked it. You know, I thought the first two games we were being too nice. The first three games, helping guys up off the floor, smiling, talking to guys, and yeah, I didn't like that. So I'll take game four over anything else of, you know, talking trash, being physical, whatever you got to do to try to get that edge to win, you got to do it. The man who was stepped over by Allen Iverson understands you don't help other people off the floor. Vince, yeah. do you think uh, there's going to be the same level of? Absolutely. I think in each each game we, they play, it's mm -hmm. going to you know, you'll see nastier. more and more. For sure, for sure, because of the intensity and what's at stake. You know, for Golden State, they're like, all right, if it goes any farther, they're definitely going to be chipped because they're like, you're not going to come back from 3-1 and beat <laughs> us again. For, for uh, Cle Cleveland, I think. They, they want to show that they can prove, they, they can show the world that, hey, we just beat a super team. Yeah. And you didn't give us a chance. Mm -hmm. You said it was over after game two. Yep. Now it's it, game four. <laughs> we showed you that we could play with them. Here we are at game seven, hopefully, and they can pull it off. So it's, 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 I mean, they're going for it. Like I said, leave nothing on the floor. Yeah. I mean, your championship team, I mean, this was your stack and trade, right? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. You know, we, we like that chippiness mm -hmm. because it's, it's just a matter of getting into that person's head. If, if I can intimidate you just by words or maybe a little bit of elbow shove mm -hmm. and I got you, then, you know, I, I won that battle. Maybe I can do something else, talk some more trash to you to get you out of your game plan, to get you off of the same page as your teammates. So you better believe it's going to be some elbows. No Everything coach ever legal. had to tell Sheed he needed to be more <laughs> <laughs> he, he told him this was going to happen. Didn't, right? That but, didn't ever have to be said <laughs> to Sheed. But to uh, that, I think by, by doing that, it's two things that can happen. Right. Either you're going you're gonna to back down mm -hmm. or you're going you gonna to try to step up to the level. Well, I can say three things. You're going to step up <laughs> to the level and play out of character. Oh, right. Or just like whatever, I'm, 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 you know, let's just play and you do what you do, I do what I do. So it just depends. You, you set you, you set the bar, mm -hmm. in which he was great at, and mm -hmm. that's what they're doing, and see what you're going to do. There were you're going to respond or you're going to play. There were seven technicals in the game, and I think both coaches were happy about it. Like, even when Draymond got that second tech, or what they, what they uh, thought no, was the second right. tech. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're right. People second on the Warriors <laughs> bench liked that he was getting into – they liked that he was reacting because mm -hmm. it was kind of like, you know, the Warriors were getting steamrolled a little bit there. Right. I know they got to try to rein Draymond in, but there were people on that bench who were like, good for you, Dre. Good for you. Get us going like that. Yeah, I think just, both teams are going to be keeping it's that. It's timing. I mean, of course, of course, I mean, for them, it was already out of hand. Right. But you can't get that sec second technical if it's a five, ten point game well, look, the way they score. We saw so. last year. Dre knew right. it was his first. Right. Right. is good. Sometimes it's see, bad. Dre said he knew it was his first. And see, the thing about it, <laughs> okay. dealing, dealing with that in a big game, you know, and yes, I'm talking about it. Yes. If I get the one tech and I know it's a big game, I'm not going to get thrown out. Right. Because I know it's, it's too much at stake, especially with this game, the, the so you're weight aware, of So it, you're aware in the moment, once they've given you your first tech, you're like, they're not going to throw me out of a finals game. You have more to play well, with? you know how far you can go. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you know more how far you can go. You know, you can maybe say an uh, extra friendly well. word or two to the refs <laughs> because, you know, it's, it's, it's a game back and forth. We know other things on the inside that – yeah, Most yeah. of the public don't know, so we, we know who we could pick at. I can say this with, with confidence. Nobody knows how to play with a technical foul more than Rasheed Wallace <laughs> <laughs> I just like the breaking news on the jump today. First of all, Rasheed letting us in that he did, in fact, trash talk during his career. So thank God we got that cleared up. I've only heard like once or twice. <laughs> and then, exactly. And, and then the technical manipulation. I love all of it. We have to say goodbye to Brian. So bye, Brian. We're going to take a quick break, but you're going to want to have come back with us. We'll have a new face in this seat. And this is our distant replay brought to you by Garmin. Take a look.